So, again, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, by the end of this series, why you should give me $1 billion, uh, I hope to convince at least some of my viewers to give me $1 billion. And uh, if you're not convinced, uh, chances are it's probably because you're not in my target market. Although, I, I really, I, I don't, you know, want money just to be rich. You know, don't, don't get me wrong, though. It would be pretty cool to be stupid rich. You know what I mean? Like, like Bond villain rich. It'd be pretty cool to have like a yacht and like a helicopter, maybe a private island or two. At least enough uh, private islands so that I could fly my helicopter from one private island to the other one. Uh, and and the, the yacht? Yeah. Helipad. Definitely has to have a helipad. You know, in case of MI6, need a quick escape route. I'd be like, guys, quick, to the helipad. It's MI6. We have to get to my private island. And they'd be like, we're already here. And then I'd be like, no, my secret private island. And they'd be like, what? You've got a secret private island? And I'd be like, duh, why wouldn't I? Oh, my secret private island? Definitely have a secret base built into a skull-shaped mountain face. Only accessible by submarine, of course. Which also means that I would have a secret submarine. Also, with a helipad. This should be obvious. However, it may lead you to question. Well, David, what are you going to do with your helicopter once you submerge the submarine to enter your secret skull base? Doesn't matter. I'm rich. I'll buy another helicopter. And I think I think that really brings us to the moral of the story, which is that you should be rich because if you're rich and you have any problems, you can just throw as much money as you want at those problems until they go away. I can't see any any drawbacks or responsibilities that would come along with uh, being being rich. In fact, I don't even really like that word rich. Um,